listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Friday, October 20th, 2023. This week, we have talked about a huge variety of topics that all fall under the seventh commandment, you shall not steal. Now, of course, stealing means taking things that don't belong to us, but that's not as simple as it sounds. It applies to so many things and how we interact with the possessions we own and other people that are in need. So we talked first about our attachment to material objects and how we need to long for heaven more than we long for the material objects of this world. We also talked about the created world, how the created world is a gift for all people. We need to make sure that we aren't selfish, that we aren't taking resources from other people and that all people are being served by creation. Now we also talked about our duty to care for the poor, that The money that we have that's extra after we are fed and clothed, St. John Christendom tells us that that belongs to the poor. And when we aren't serving the poor, when we're hoarding it or indulging ourselves, that we are stealing from them. Now, today we're going to go to an even different topic, and we're going to talk about work. So if you read the catechism, you will see that there is quite a big section in this part of the catechism under the seventh commandment where we talk about work. So let's explore why that is. So the first thing to remember is that as human beings, we were created to work, right? We are created in the image and likeness of God. And what did God do for six days of creation? He worked, he created. And so we are built to work. Now, some of us have disabilities or certain things that keep us from doing work from time to time, but for the most part, we are called to work. At the this moment of your life, that work probably looks like schoolwork and chores and serving around the home or around your, your farm or your yard. It will look different as you grow up, Specifically, if you have a family, that work will mean caring for the needs of your family. But of course, we don't work all the time. We, like God, rest on the seventh day. And then after that, we continue with our work. So around this work, we need to realize that there are certain things that need to be part of the work we're doing in order for that work to live up to our human dignity and to the dignity of all human beings. Now, the Catechism has a huge list of workers' rights that are very important that we're not going to go all into today, but just some of those are that, you know, we deserve to have work that is fruitful, work that can be done in a safe environment, work for which we are given a just wage and several other things, like that workers have certain rights. And so another way that we could steal is if we owned a business and we had workers that weren't being treated right, that we weren't paying correctly, that we weren't putting the expense into giving them a safe place to work, or where we were forcing them to do work that was mind numbing and monotonous and not up to their human dignity. If I was doing any of these things to make more money or to pay them less, then that is a way of stealing and the catechism points that out. Now, of course, the most profound way to mistreat workers and to steal is to enslave them. Now, as you likely know, throughout the world and even in this country, slavery has been something that has been practiced. And this idea that one human being can own another human being is false. And it also is a terrible, terrible sin to commit against a different person. And this sin actually falls under the the seventh commandment here, because what are we taking? We're taking someone's freedom. We're stealing that from them. And that is nothing that we should be able to do and nothing we should ever be tempted to do. And so Sprouts, I hope that 
this week listening to all of these topics that fall under the seventh commandment has just helped you think through all of the ways that we need to be really striving toward virtue in our lives. When we go to confession and when we go through a, an examination of conscience, sometimes there'll be really good questions or sometimes we'll just think, well, hey, I didn't steal anything, so I guess I can skip over this. But when we dig through all of these pieces and we think through, am I too attached to material objects? Am I willing to share what I have with the poor? Am I a good worker? And am I a good co-worker with other people? Those are all good questions so we can really dig deeper, make a better confession and grow in virtue. And so my challenge for you today is actually to have a conversation with other people or with yourself about the last time that you went to confession. If you're on a regular schedule, about once a month is ideal, then just keep going with that. But if it's been a long time, perhaps now, this week, is a time to find a good confession time, make a really full examination of conscience and go and be washed clean so you can start again. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Attention Clubhouse members, thank you to everyone that came and spoke with the monks from Ascension Abbey this past Saturday. This coming Saturday, we are welcoming Sister Alicia Torres from the Franciscans of the Eucharist in Chicago, the nun who appeared on the Food Network on Chopped. She's going to be coming and speaking to us at 10 Central. I hope that you can come this Saturday, meet her, ask her all the questions, and hear her beautiful story of how God used the Eucharist to call her to religious life. Head to the community, find the link, and I'll see you on Saturday. This podcast is part of the Spoke Street Network. For more great podcasts, visit Spokestreet.com.